All right, that's it. We're going to Croc. Croc will, oh, uh, wrong way though. <laughs> Croc will at least give us cards. Of that, I'm fairly certain. Something I've always wondered. We'll stick to Okay. So he is through here. Uh, Random druid. You look on well. <laughs> who may have just possessed that tapestry? There's still people here, even after you know Where things kind of went down. The black ones. I mean, I'd say you know, I would understand if people did not want to oh, kill you. Yeah. <sighs> Still a little bit concerning for people dancing are called captives. Let's not get in the way of the axe. I knew if he felled himself to the hair with hooch, he'd never make his long ship. You're pale. <coughs> Drink last night too? Alright. Maybe we just head over to Croc. Who is hanging out over here? Mm. He's just chilling. He is just chilling. Telling you, Geralt. Since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. What about when we help Saris? You've got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an uncrate. Oh, thank you. Let's see. What about Queen Saris, though? I thought we... I mean, we kind of asked you about this at Getting Eath, but I suppose maybe this is a little bit different. Your daughter. First woman to rule Skellige. She'll be a good queen. Knows what she wants. Yeah. So what does she want? To unite all of Skellige's clans. A difficult task. No one has ever managed it. But Ceres is stubborn. Thinking long term then. Think she'll succeed? She's got a powerful ally. In me. <laughs> Hopefully it works out. Anything new on that massacre during the feast? Yeah, I mean, I was a little bit surprised to see there were this many people hanging out here, given what recently happened. The massacre during the feast. Know anything new? Thanks to you and Ceres, we know who's responsible. It's enough for me. Not gonna try to capture the berserkers? They were but tools, Wolf. I'd rather sever the hand that wields the sword than merely break steel. An apt metaphor. Okay, I think, why don't we play you at Gwent now? You ever play Gwent? Ha! <laughs> Hermion taught me the rules and gave me a deck. Wish to play. For sure. Let's play a quick round. Okay, so this one we're expecting to be much more difficult because this is tied to an actual quest. So I think for that reason, we probably do break out the Northern Realms because I do think this is our best deck and we do now have the Mysterious Elf, so it should be stronger than we've ever had it before. So, let's test it. There you go first. Krog is monsters. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Spy, not our best spy. Actually, our worst spy, but medic is good. And we should have lots of siege. We have only one catapult, which is a little bit unfortunate, and then several heroes. Might want to try to get a little bit more siege going. I think we might still want to try to remove the siege expert. Melee nerf. I think monsters does have a lot of melee most of the time, so this is probably still a good card to keep. Hmm. Range nerf, less so. Oh, and we got our best spy. Okay, I like that. That's the new one. Okay. Cards of the melee row. That's fine. In fact, you know what? What if we give you this spy here? And yes, you could steal him, but I think we're giving you enough strength in the melee row. In fact, we could even give you Senus as well. That yeah, I'm just eyeing this future melee nerf, and if we could get, even get the, uh, oh man, if we could get the dragon out of this, I mean, we could melee nerf, if we really wanted to, drop you all down to one strength, and then destroy you all, if you got enough cards out there, I guess. Um. What? Croc? Are you okay? Alrighty then, um, sure, why not? So, why don't we throw down our other spy then? Why 
We got a Scorch, which would actually destroy... Yes, everything except for the spy that we just played. Uh, which is kind of funny, but ultimately only amounts to seven strength that they're losing, so it, it doesn't really mean much. We did also get our second catapult. That's huge. So uh, I think maybe what we do here is we just play a hero in the melee row and rub in the fact that we, in one card, can outdo their however many cards they have out there. So, take that. Okay, fair enough. Triss is immune. And it does give you a slight lead, but I think still, the fact that we have twice as many cards as you, I'm pretty confident. And, you know, you uh, have already used your leader ability, but we have not. So, uh, what do we add in then? Probably just another hero tell you the truth. Thinking Croc might pass soon. Oh? Really? Is that so? I mean, if you want to use all your heroes to try to stay in this one, that's fine. You're going to have basically nothing remaining for rounds two or three. Yes, yeah, so you're going to pass here. That's fine. In fact, we actually have nothing to use our medic on at the moment, which is a little bit odd, but it does mean that we are pretty safe from any scorches that might come in this next round. Oh, you do get to keep a card out here. That is your monster thing. We draw a card. We draw a card after winning a round because we're Northern Realms and we get another spy. So, uh, yeah. I think this deck is becoming pretty strong now. Let's play taller. Get more cards. And we got another hero and we got what? The Trebuchet, I think. Hmm. Could scorch it. Could nerf it. We could nerf it and then scorch it. I think we play a, a leader or a, a hero card to keep our options open here. Let's see. Okay, that will get doubled up to a 10. So that would be the new scorch target. I think we just keep on pouring on the heroes. And yeah, I think we can definitely win this round. Okay. Oh, that's actually the... The sea drill. And it's muster, except you only had one. So it didn't do anything. Bold strategy, Cotton. Okay. Let's play Siri. And see what you can do here. Fiend will also get doubled. That one up to 12. So that's the new target for Scorch. And we may opt to do that here, although... Hmm. Just looking at our medic and thinking, I mean, there is nothing for our medic to bring back right now, right? So why not throw something out there? Even if it's a big card? It's technically not even going to be scorchable, even now. That is a range nerf, which does precisely nothing against us. Because we have no cards over there. And so, why don't we... Oh, we should have... Yeah, we actually shouldn't have played this. Because we should have done the melee nerf first. Because that affects them and not us. Because we only have here as the melee row. Then we could have scorched, and scorch would have removed the, uh, the rockus here would have gotten rid of their six strength card so okay not perfectly optimal but i think we're still gonna absolutely crush these guys so uh throw out the other catapult we'll double each other throw out all the other siege cards because why not throw out the medic who's not gonna have anyone to revive but sure then use our leader ability and we could have dropped our opponent lower than this but I suppose we'll stick with the, you know, what, 125 or so point victory? I guess we'll settle for that. You're good. You know what, Wolf? I have this rare card here. Take it. It'll be of more use to you. Thanks. Oh. 
You might consider challenging a man in Kertrolda village. A worthy adversary, though a mere tailor. Just as his name. Hmm. Do we know about that guy? Oh, it looks like we may have already played him. Okay. Let's see. So. Yeah, I'm sorry, Croc, you were not very good. Also, what what card did you give us? I didn't even see. I was looking so much at the, uh, the other guy who you're saying we were supposed to play. Let's see, was there anything in Northern Realms or anything generic? Not seen anything here unless it's a card that we already had a copy of, and you might have given us an additional copy. If it was a weather card, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> Uh, Nilfgaard, any unfamiliar faces? No. Monsters. The Drog, is that new? Might have been that, in which case that's a big 10 strength gear. That could be useful. Might just be misremembering. Might have gotten that earlier. Spoitel. Anything that looks do there? Hmm. Don't think so. I think it was the drog. In which case, yeah, that's a pretty big pickup. Okay, and then... But no, we have not played this person. Okay. And if you are truly... Hold on. Here in this general area, then we should probably play you now. Let's see. Yeah, you're a little bit further out in the village, but we can definitely play you. I know you're Pray with me. Um, sorry? No? That was uh, awfully demanding. Seriously. Uh, Not even like a hi, how are you, or uh, hey, what's up, Geralt? Are you interested in doing this praying stuff? Okay, so we're heading down. Could even bring a roach here. Wherever she is, or is not. Okay, maybe we can't bring roach here. I was gonna say, once upon a time, we were racing down here with roach. Summer here? Apparently not. So, uh. Okay, dude. Yeah. That caught a turd. Sorry to hear that. Um, also, sorry to hear that you are in this tunnel by yourself. I suppose he has some friends over here. Can I bring Roach now? Yes. Whoa! Oh, pardon hey, me. Run, Roach. Run him over. Hey. Nah. They're fine. Yes, it's basically right below where we are right now. But we do, you know, need to drop quite a bit of elevation with that. Oh, that was serious for a second. Hey, uh. Yeah, man. You made that big. You blame Okay, should just be around here. Something makes a weird sound in the forest. Come just on. the geese? Might be. Killing the ice guy. Got me eye on you. Okay. So, person we're looking for is over here. Yeah, man. This might be better to just dismount. I think this actually might be part of the fist fighting as well. Might be a good place to get that started as well. So we basically just ignore that for the time being. Together for me. The fabric's good, but uh, not the you. Nilfgaard. You. Hey, Shusta. I don't think. Oh, okay. No, we have tried to trade with you before. Are oh, you the barber? Okay. Any but supposedly you, you have a good quid deck. Oh, I. It's a great passion. Want to play? Uh, yeah. I'm That's ready. why we're here. Let's Didn't do actually want to get a haircut. I mean, <laughs> serious? Okay. Again, you are supposedly good. 
So I think we probably do stick with Northern Realms. So I do like to see some of our other decks starting to pick up some good cards. Okay, Biting Frost is the melee nerf. Good spy. Couple spies, in fact. Siege Expert, we might dump you. I think we will. We'll see what we get out of it, and then we might even swap again. Probably will keep you. What are we going against? It's looking like another Northern Realms. So I'm wondering, do we want a melee nerf? Or do we not? Because they could be pretty siege heavy. Kind of like us. They don't have the same leader ability as us, though. This isn't the one... I don't think it's the one that removes a weather effect. I think it applies a different weather effect. It might even be this. In which case, get rid of that. Oh, we got a, a range nerf. I'm not sure I recognize that leader ability, actually. Let's just double check this real quick. Which one is this? Whoa! Destroy your enemy's stronger siege units is the combined strength of this or her siege units. There's ten or more. I don't like that. I don't like that. Anti-siege? Not cool. Um, that might force us to split our siege units in a way that we would not normally like to do. But I think we lead off with you. See what cards we get, and since this is unstealable, no real downside to it. Did we just get another spy? I think we did. I think we just got Stennis. Well, you don't say. Two can play that game. We got Taller. Yeah, we are loaded up on the spies in this deck, and I like it. Okay. If you have one strength units with no abilities, then that does bode well for us, I think. Even if you have a leader ability that does counter ours quite well. And, huh. Thinking ahead with that, I think we might even want to try to drop one of these soon. Though, it would be the Scorch target. So we might want to lead off with the hero first. Just played a little bit safe. We do have a medic. We actually have two medics. But I'd like to save those for, say, in round two or three, playing Stennis or whatever other spies you might have. So let's keep on throwing out the heroes. That's some here. Okay, so looking like the melee nerf might have been pretty useful to hold on to after all. That does mean that we're at least a little bit safe to play this card here. Of course, we're to remove both this card and Vesemir, which you probably wouldn't want to do. We did draw into a range nerf. We don't have any range cards ourselves. I think we might just go for it. I mean, we do already have a lead. Even after that. So I'm almost tempted to pass here. Force our opponent to either play another card and go down a fair bit. They would draw another card after winning a round as Northern Realms. So they'd be, at worst, looking at six to eight cards. So two card advantage for us and we have two spies to spare. I think that's probably fine. In fact, yeah, we can probably play each right here. And we got, what, uh, a siege card, and then another hero. Okay, you doubled your melee row with Dandelion. So yes, melee nerf would have been pretty fantastic right about now. But I think in that case, we're definitely not looking to win here in round one. And may even be reason to play taller. Let's go for it. Not that his one strength is adding too much to your total. Okay, yeah, they'll pass here. And despite them seemingly having a pretty high point lead, we can actually surpass them in two cards, which I think we definitely do here. Geralt plus insert hero here would be enough, right? This would bring us to 46 and then 56. Yeah. Then we have card advantage. We will draw additional card after winning round, and we will obviously have one a round. So then we do this. Doesn't even matter if we threw all of our spies at you in that round. 
draw into an extra card, and that's our melee scorch with the dragon, which could have been useful in the previous round. But okay, so their their leader ability is a siege scorch, right? Destroy the highest unit if we have ten or more strength. So in that case, what I'm wondering is, what if we go? What is the most efficient way to bait that out? I think if we go with our medic to bring back, who was it, Stennis? Yeah, medic to bring back Stennis, that'll be five strength in the siege row. Then we play one of the six strength siege cards and that'll bring us up to 11. And then we lose just that six strength card as long as we leave it at just that. And then once they use their leader ability, then we follow up and throw in all the others. I think that's the plan. Let's go for it. This to bring us Stennis. Dennis is a spy, so we'll play him on the other side, draw two cards, we get Siri out of it, which is pretty big, and then get a decoy, so if you have any spies yourself, we can swap those. Yeah, your deck is pretty atrocious by the looks of things. One and two strength cards, that's uh, it's not looking so great, but the biggest threat is just your leader ability, so we're going to bait it out here. Aren't using it yet, so while we wait for you to do that, why don't we play some heroes here and we do have another medic with Yennefer so we could even get the card back after you ooh, scorch it and okay, that was not the way in which I was expecting you to do that I was expecting you to use your leader ability to make that happen that is uh, one of the few times in which I was not thinking about who is going to be the scorch target let's see we aren't going to want to do it another round of that could throw in our, our Siege Expert, and that's not going to change much here. Just abide a little bit of time, and I suppose you might even... Even if you threw all of your cards after you, you're still not going to win. And so, if we, say, throw Siri down... Then you can't use your leader building now, or at least it's not going to do anything if you try. You'll decoy, okay, to swipe the Spy, and then you'll replay the Spy. Which is interesting, because then we will do exactly the same thing and swipe that spy and play that. It means we have one turn of downtime, though. If we were to play Yennefer, do we have anyone to bring back? We do. That would, however, get us up above the 10 strength threshold in the siege row, which we actually don't really want to do. We'd like to, if possible, just have you pass and run out of cards before that even uh, becomes relevant. But that's not really a luxury we can afford to have right now, because otherwise that means wasting the dragon. Or bring one of those cards back with Yennefer, and yeah, I think that's probably what ends up happening here. Either that or just play one of these directly. So one of these is going to go down, or this is going to go down. Yeah, for the video really, there it goes. We can bring it back with Yennefer. But also, your last card is that Spy, and we will want to swipe that. I mean, this is going to be... We're going to run away with this one. But I'm just trying to, you know, optimize to the extent that we can optimize. Bring you back. Here comes the Spy. We will swipe it. Like so. Then they drew two cards from that Spy. Let's see what they got out of it. Okay, I hope that last card is also a melee card. Well, tell you what, doesn't matter. We're gonna get you above 10 strength in melee row that way. If you were to swipe back our spy and replay it, then we could swipe it back again. But, uh, okay. Now this will actually destroy two cards because the highest strength cards are both Bess and Stennis. So a double scorch here. Don't mind if I do. And then... Now we'll... Oh, tell you what. We'll decoy on you. Replay you. Bring back you. And play all of our remaining siege cards. And then we will use our leader ability to double the siege row and annihilate you. Like so. Who needs round three anyway? Bravo. A grand win. Congratulations. 
Okay. Experience. Wed card. Yaven. Interesting. What does he do? For Squirtail, obviously. Witcher 1 throwback. Oh, well, there you are. Just 6 strength, but agile, so we can play him in either the range or melee row, so similar to many of our other agile cards. Uh, may even make it into the deck at that type of strength. Because we do have other cards that are 6 strength and agile, just like him, that are in the deck right now. I suppose it's basically just a more flexible version of you. So, why would we not just get rid of you and swap in Yaven? Let us do that, I think. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. A very small improvement. But probably an improvement, no less. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And now, I think we are looking for... Well, actually, can we pick a fight with these people? What do you do once there are no basilisks I want to fight. Brad, tell me when you're ready. Uh, I guess, what's the tournament like? It's a tournament? Tournament rules. What are they? The fighters are both upstarts seeking to prove their grit and brawn and courage, and old hands just looking to keep the rust at bay. Yeah, so it sounds like this is Nova probably the Those worst of the fighters in Skelga. This here's a minor festival. Okay. Ready to fight any time, even we'll try now. It out like to have some words with the Outlander first. Mm -hmm. It's Is about so? my Erica. See her? I... I gotta win today. She's watching. Uh... I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking, maybe you'd let me win. Hmm... I mean, I'm pretty sure we can do that and then just turn around and beat somebody up afterwards and still be fine. We've run into an occasion like this once or twice before, so I think it's fine, but just once. All right, we'll do it like this. We'll help you out. First fight, I'll take a dive, but then we'll go at it again. Best man wins. Enough of this chatter. Fight! <laughs> Enough of this collusion. And, I mean, we could potentially even, like, turn around and betray him. Oh, he's level 27. That's actually no joke. <laughs> Keep together! Oh, oh man. Tough. So, so tough. All he does is throw the same punch over and over again. Also, um, I mean, that guy kind of got in the way, but. Oh no! Valgord wins! Help! I've fallen and I cannot get up. You're good with your hands. Hey, I am. Witcher. Respect after that. All right. Um, got anything to say to us after that? Maybe. Maybe not. Right, you here. I mean, we did just kind of give you a pretty big favor. All right. Thinking of trying my hand. Soon as you're ready, come forth and speak up. This time. This time. We're in it for real. Let's start. Well then, fight. What are you going to say this time? Anything? No? Yeah, I know you're going to do that. <laughs> Wait for the big punch. Lock it. Counter. Once or twice. Wait for the big punch. Oh, I didn't, didn't time the counter very well that time. Big punch. Oh, you missed that one. Counter. Big punch. Counter. I mean, there, there's a bit of a recipe, in case you couldn't tell. Well, I missed that one. What? Lost your nerve? Oh, I didn't time that one very well either. Hold on, hold on. Also don't want to get totally pinned in a corner. That tends not to end well. Oh, 
No, that wasn't gonna get... Oh, and then I put my guard down for a second because I wanted to actually get the counter up, not just a normal block. By the rate of more harm. Oh, you're not dead. Now you are. Defeat, Honor I should say. And glory are his. Don't look at me like that. You know what happened. You have two bites more before you can challenge for the title of best oh. in Skellige. Okay. You've got to defeat Einar to be found on Pharaoh, and one Grim of Helmstein, a village on Ard Skellig. Good luck to you. I mean, you say that as if we aren't currently on Ard Skellig. Step aside. The giant it's actually a lot of crowds. Huh? Got a crafting diagram? Several? Okay. Sure. Then... Let's see. Where is the other place in Art Skeleton that we're supposed to go for that? Out of curiosity? It's this one. It's this one. Specifically that guy, at least. And... Oh no! Oh no, that's... that's Pharaoh. Okay, the other one is in Arnbjorn. This guy was level 27. In theory, it's a level 30 quest. So I'm curious... So presumably, one of these two remaining guys is actually level 30. I'm guessing it's the guy... here? So I don't know what level this guy is. Oh, I do remember walking past this guy and asking the same question. Okay, but we were... Also looking to play one more person at Gwent, right? Madman Lugos. Okay, he's, I mean, not exactly in the same area, but he's kind of close. At least Southern Ard Skellig. Yeah. Okay, so let's get ourselves to a fast travel spot. And then we'll head over there. So I think Madman Lugos might be the last person for Gwent in Skellige, or at least the, of the major people. Don't eat so much. Just walk past someone. Don't eat so much. Okay. Don't know what kind of conversation we're interrupting there. Okay, so we go here. And you are... here? Up there? Where exactly? In this building? Wherever the entrance is? Mm, nope. Next one over. There we go. Hello. Go see your friend Croc if you want to talk. I mean, I, yeah, uh, I probably would go to Croc, not you, if I did want to chat, but Gwent. That's Gwent. actually why we're here. Know the game. The gulls shed off claps. Let's see your duck. It's been a dull day. We'll play for my katakan. Ah, oh, right, I do remember you saying that. I think that's a, what, five strength or maybe even six strength melee muster. I do remember a lot of people Show have that guard. Do. That would be an, a monster's card at that, as you can probably imagine. So I would also expect you to be pretty decent, and therefore also probably should go Northern Realms. Although the past few of these major people, or these people who were supposed to be major, uh, were not so good. But maybe that is because our Northern Realms deck at least in my opinion, is a lot further along than any of our other decks right now. So we got lots of Siege, a couple of Euros, but we do have both Catapults as well, that is pretty sweet. One Spy, Siege Expert could potentially work with this many Siege cards, yes, but I think we may still want to swap you out for something else. Will we take a Hero form? Yeah, probably take that exchange. And I'm thinking we probably do keep the melee nerf for monsters, because they do tend to have a lot of uh, melee cards, so... I think we stick with this. And they go first, okay. Well, there's one of those really weak two strength cards that we picked up somewhat recently. So uh, that's maybe an indication of what we're gonna find here. In which case, maybe you won't be so good after all either. Let's play our spy. I mean, you could seal him. We don't really have a way to get him back if you do. 
but I do still like to know what we're dealing with. Yeah, you did see them. Fair enough. Now let's go heroes. There is the catechin that supposedly is the card we're playing for. And yeah, that is a lot in the melee row. However, that does kind of mean I'd sort of like to do this. Not looking so good anymore. Unless you have a way to remove that. Alright, I mean, if you want to go in the siege row, then, uh, then let's dance. But thinking for now, we can probably just get by with this. We're tied at 20 apiece. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. We drew into this range nerf, which may not do as well. I mean, it does. I mean, it gives us one, one value right now. Um, but we could do it a little bit preemptively. It does kind of force our opponent to play another card. I suppose we do it, just in case they don't have any range cards in the future round. Okay, now they'll play. The spy, which is actually a pretty good time to do that because he is getting nerfed. But it does still mean that we are holding on to our lead here. Though tempting as it may be to pass, obviously they could surpass us in probably just one card. So we probably do throw down Geralt here. It's a bit of a big card play. Our opponent could very well pass, yeah. But I think I'm okay with that because we'll draw into another card after winning this round, so we'll still be on even cards. And I still think our deck is going to be a fair bit better than theirs. Now, granted, you do hold on to a card on the playing field as a monster's deck. What is your leader ability as well? Remind me. Double strength of close combat. Okay, so it's a commander's horn in close combat. So, yeah, I, was, I would think you probably wanted to do that in round one, with all those muster cards there. Could still mean you could have a dangerous melee row in this round. And we might want to bait that out if possible. We see you use it early, and we might deliberately shut things down a little bit quickly in this round. Save up for a big round three. So for that reason, let's definitely save our two catapults. We only want to use those when we are certain we're going all out. Let's play one of you, and you'd be tied for the Catechin for the highest card out there that's not a hero, so either one of you could end up being the Scorch Bait. Second, like not really concerned about the Foglet. Let's play another you. Now, suddenly, you could Scorch and remove two of our cards and only one of yours. Okay, well, not anymore. So I do think that we're probably looking at... Uh, Commander's Horn in the melee row incoming. But as long as we hold on to these two and then save our leader ability, then yeah, I think what we do now is now we pass. Give them this round. They'll carry over a card, yes, but I don't think they're going to be able to match this in round three, especially if they don't have their leader ability to double anymore. How do you have one more card than us right now, though? Don't remember how that happened, but I think we're still okay here. And you did luck out and keep your, I think, what was your strongest card out there. First, Boshling is disgusting, but not that strong. And I think if we play you, then you would immediately become the Scorch target. If we use our leader ability, then we could at least wait one turn, but then anything we play from now on is definitely going to be the Scorch target. But if you have a Scorch and you use it on this guy, not that bad. If you use it on either of the Catapults, then that does hurt a lot. So we definitely want to keep them together. And that is a little bit concerning because we do now need to play one of them. He is the last one, Scorch. 
It is not, nor is it a siege nerf. So that means we definitely have this one here. Especially once we drop this guy. That's what we were trying to save up for. And there we go. Not too bad. But then they'd say Lugos had gone even madder. Take my katakana of sword off. All right. Fair enough. And now, was that the last of the Gwent players on Skelga? Oh, Amir. Yes. Yes, it was. Let's check it out. So we got the Katakin, which I think we saw in that match there. It was five strength, muster with all the other vampires. So this guy here. And then do we have other vampires to muster? Yeah, we do. One, two, three, at least three others. So now I think that is one of the key pieces of the monster's deck. Maybe even worth throwing some things out there, seeing what sticks. Like a one strength muster from Neckers, or two strength monsters from Nectar. Two strength muster from Nectars and one strength muster from Ghouls is not exactly something to get terribly excited about. Even the Arrakis, well, with four strength and three of them, I suppose that's something. Then, yes, definitely get out the Catechin. And where did our other vampires go? We were just looking at them, were we not? Where did you disappear to? Thrones. We have all three of them. Those are other muster units. That works well. One Arrakis. Does this work with the other Arrakai that we've added? I hope so. In which case, that's not bad. Heroes, get you out there. And suddenly, Monsters is looking much better than it did previously. Did we already throw in our, our other vampires? Yeah, that's why. Okay, gotcha. But now this is where things get a little bit tricky. Because we need at least six more units and we don't have well we throw the dragon and Yennefer okay now we have a few more heroes like Geralt and Ciri okay now we need two more I think Dandelion can work because we have so many things in the going on in the melee row that means maybe only one of these unit cards that we're not a huge fan of but even then we're talking something six strength which is not that bad and I think we do want to have something in the melee row because we are definitely focusing on doubling the melee row with cards like Dandelion. So I think let's throw out a Fiend maybe then. And then could also add some decoys. We don't have any spies ourselves. But we could certainly steal some spies. We don't have any medics. So it does make the decoy a little bit harder to pull off because we are very much relying on our opponent to have those uh those spies for us to steal otherwise there isn't much for us to do with them commander's horn let's see it is well if we have dandelion then that functionally is a commander's horn you can't double up like that and have both dandelion and a commander's horn in the melee row so we don't want to have that many of them but one might work that way you know it's unlikely we get or I suppose if we got Dandelion plus Commander Sword, then we could just swap out of one of them. Scorch, I think, is probably pretty safe to add. Um, maybe even multiple of them. And then we don't want any melee nerfs, but I don't think we have anything in the range row other than Yennefer, but she's immune to nerfs. And do we have anything in Siege? I think we have one. One of the Arrakises was in Siege, actually, is that? Yeah, the Behemoth. So why don't we throw out, throw in, one of these. Maybe even Torrential Rain could work. Might even want to clear weather to remove any melee nerfs, because that'd be pretty bad. And then, I think we leave it at that. And yeah, suddenly, 
monsters looking much better than it was a little while ago. And then the other thing is our leader ability, which let's take a look at what we have. Pick any weather card from your deck and play it instantly. Okay, so that is reason to have more weather cards or double strength of close combat. This would be another way of guaranteeing we could double close combat and therefore if we had other strong units and we felt yeah, if we had other strong units that we could include and we could remove Dandelion, then we could just rely on this instead. Or we might even have enough going on in the, the melee where to have both Dandelion and this. Discard two cards, draw a card of your choice. Mm, don't know about that. I mean, yes, potentially could work well, but you have to have one card that you really want in that case. Hmm. That's interesting. Ooh. That's very interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we could... I I think we probably do want to experiment a bit with monsters as a whole and with the various leader abilities, so maybe we'll leave it as is for now. The other thing we got was... I think it was a leader ability for Nilfgaard. Because it did say Amir. So let's see. We had this. We were using this. We can cancel our opponent's leader ability. Yeah, I think that's the one that we just got. It's kind of tempting. I want to go with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now at least all the big ones done for Gwent on Skelga. We'll continue to run into random people here and there, of course. Let's ski. Let's see. So then, uh, next, good, continue, trying to fight for this one, Rim, who is over here, kind of just chilling on the side of the road. Side oh, of it. So These dudes. Beware the bandits that lurk in the highlands. Okay, I will. You. Lucky traveler. Hello, Brim. Greetings. You know me? Aye, I've heard of you. Bolin's been me mate since we were tykes. Oh! And you don't save this life. This is true. Heard you, uh, hold fights here. Ye heard right. Try your luck if you like. We have spoken to you already. I suppose we're ready. Previous guy was level 27. I'm guessing this is going to be a little bit higher than that, 28 or 29. I'm ready. Fight mercilessly. And this guy might with honor. functionally fight as if he's a Vildkarl. Looks kind of like he's built that same way. Yeah, he's level 31. It's actually pretty concerning. So this is going to be pretty important that we just do this functionally correctly. Come on, get closer. Don't take too many big risks. Just go for uh, counters. That was not the right timing on that one. Wait for you to do the big charge up like that. And then, oh, I didn't time that properly for the counter either. You can be a little bit more patient like this. That one was a little too quick as well. That one might have been a little too quick, too. Come on, get him with a couple punches. Oh, missed the kick. Nope. There we go. Oh. Come on. Put him up. That's what I thought. Not so tough after all. Get out the traveler wins it! Level 31 Schmerdy. Fred, damn it. If Brolin's in your nature and you care to continue, there's Einer still to fight. We stay to okay. 20 on Four of them wipes us thinking. And I'm still alive. Not bad. Not bad in that case. And Einar 
was on a totally different island, on Fairer, I think, so we probably are not about to fight him, I don't think. I mean, we might be getting close getting to the point where we're going to Fairer at this point, because we're starting to run out of things to do on Hard Skelg, other than maybe these few question marks over here. And other than that, this is Hindersfjall, Pharaoh, Hindersfjall, Pharaoh, Novigrad, actually. Everywhere. Somewhere entirely different. Uh, Novigrad, or actually Velen, Velen, Crow's Perch, and then obviously Novigrad. So, yeah. I mean, Witcher Contracts, anything here? The Missing Miners, this is level 35. This is actually going to be... Might be one of the last things we end up doing. At least on Skellige. Um Treasure hunts, I mean, maybe... Some tough ones here. What about this one here? Where is this? Only level 20. That is... Really? Up here? Oh, by that guarded treasure? I was going to say, at first I thought that was maybe in the caves where there are the question marks here, where we saw this was tough, but it might actually be by these, uh, by this guarded treasure that we've already completed, and we might have just not been quite thorough enough to catch this one. Unless this is actually underground in the cave system, in which case I'm pretty sure it's a lot harder than level 20, because we will likely need to go through the level 30 plus enemies down here. 